I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG. And we have a comment from Matt's Garage Shop. And he says, I'm a bit puzzled by the fan dipole I just built. It was originally 40 meter, not quite, but close dipole. You got to make sure that that's resonant. Feed point up high off a one to one ballon I built in one of those 4x4 four four Cantex boxes from Home Depot. So each leg around 32, 33 feet. Yeah, it's about the right length. Worked great. Then I added two legs for 10 meters, each around 8 foot 2 inches or so. And that's fine. You use the same formula for the resonance of that. 468 over F in megahertz will give you a half wavelength in length. So you cut that in half and connect it up. When I checked the SWR on this new configuration, resonance had not changed on the 40 meter band, but it is way off on the 10 meter band as in unusual. Not sure what's going on, so it's my current radio Sherlock Holmes adventure. Well, what this Sherlock would say is you're going to have to adjust the lengths of those wires. I'd go ahead and add a 20 meter fan to it and then a 10. I did a video for the ARRL. I probably need to refashion it as one for this channel also on making a fan dipole for 40, 20, and 10 that happens to also work quite well on 15. And what we did was we made the wires extra long and then just looped them back on themselves. And we started, first of all, tuning 10 meters, then 20 meters and then 40 meters. And I don't recall, we may have done a little bit of going back and forth on that, but it can be done. There's no reason not to do it. We did not use an un, -un in ours. We just connected the coax directly to the center of the dipole with the uh, inner lead going one way and the shield going the other. So good luck with that project. Until we next meet, 73.